Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen spoke earlier today at a White House press briefing on the state of the economy and also that huge miss in the latest jobs report. We've got Yahoo Finance's Brian Chung here with a recap. Brian, break down some of her comments today. Yeah, Kristen, well, obviously that jobs data that we got this morning missing incredibly, 266,000 missing a lot of streets estimates, which were around 1 million. So how does the Treasury Secretary, who's been driving the economic policy for the Biden administration, think about that miss? Take a listen to what she said a few minutes ago. I've watched data for a long time, and I know that it is extremely volatile there are often surprises and temporary factors, and one should never take one month's data as an underlying trend. Besides, remember I said the, 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 the actually what happened is stronger, I think, than the headline number looks. Stronger than the headline number looks. And one reason might be if you look at the not seasonally adjusted number, because that 266,000 is the seasonally adjusted, we actually got about 1 million jobs added in the month of April. Now, I want to caveat that by saying that even in pre-pandemic times, April tends to be a boon month for the economy. In fact, you'll normally see pre-pandemic somewhere between 800,000 to a million jobs added in April. And that's because of the seasonality. You might be having more summer jobs coming into vogue. So I think that when we talk about what the Treasury Secretary was saying, yes, it is indeed the case that if you look at the not seasonally adjusted numbers, it's a lot more optimistic. But on the whole, 266,000 was still a miss for an economy that's still over 8 million in the whole when you compare job levels compared to pre-pandemic levels, guys. Brian, did Yellen talk at all about this idea the Chamber of Commerce put out today saying, you know what, take those $300 of enhanced unemployment benefits off the table now, because for some workers, especially lower wage workers, they're disincentivizing them uh, to come back into the workforce? Mm -hmm. That is definitely a thesis that was uh, kind of gaining traction, at least from analysts, immediately after the jobs report this morning. But Secretary Yellen uh, addressed that question directly, and she said that if the unemployment bonus was indeed slowing down hiring because maybe people have more incentives to stay outside the labor force because they'd be making more, then you might expect to see lower job growth in states and sectors where uh, the unemployment insurance replacement rate was particularly high because some states actually replenish more of your uh, jobs or wages or wages lost than other states. And the secretary was saying that, in fact, you're seeing the opposite, that some of those uh, you know, states where they do have those lower job growth levels uh, are not necessarily corresponding to that same trend. So that's something where, again, the Treasury Secretary is using that as a talking point. Of course, why would you hear the Treasury Secretary, who is driving the economic policy, want to talk down their own policy of keeping in place those extra unemployment benefits? We heard something similar from the Labor Secretary Marty Walsh on our program here on Yahoo Finance earlier today, but there's still very much an active debate going on. You could see it on Twitter in the econ Twitter space about how the incentives are, are changing. And I think one important report to look at is going to be the JOLTS report. This looks at job openings and kind of the churn inside uh, the job labor market. We want to see are people leaving? Are people being fired? Are they? Uh, what is the reason for why we saw such an underperformance? The only problem, guys, is that we won't get that JOLTS data until I believe it's June 8th. So we're going to have to wait a few weeks to figure out exactly what's going on uh, inside that report we got this morning. All right. Thanks so much, Brian Chung, for breaking that all down for us.